Hey there, my name is Aristotle Daskal. I'm founder of GoStartup.io and I help business owners build profitable software products quickly by using lean minimum viable teams. Today, I'll be sharing the case study of a client of mine, Jenia Beck, co-founder of Fritera, a tech startup here in Vancouver, BC. While working with me, they were able to revamp completely the quality of their software product, double the amount of work completed by the development team with the same team size and release six times more often, triple their yearly revenue, close to 10 million a year. After this case study, if you're interested in getting similar results, feel free to book a call to talk to us and we're going to talk to you about what we have to offer and how we can help you. First of all, I just want to give a couple of words about Fritera. Fritera is a uh, award-winning freight marketplace here in Vancouver and our mission is to make freight easy, accessible and green. Uh, people compare us with uh, Uber or Freight, but we are unlike as a company. Mm -hmm. Like any other company, I think, and we're very I proud, agree. yeah, of our green mission, our uh, employee ownership program, and uh, we also have the best customer service rating in the whole industry. And in 2017, uh, if you remember, I'm sure you remember, we didn't have, mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't have actually several positions uh, in a company in place. Everybody was wearing several hats just like many of us still do. And yeah, we, really we yeah, and we, web development was run by CEO and myself, a co-founder. And it couldn't work this way anymore because he was full-time busy with uh, very important jobs that he was doing. And I was also running marketing department that was very ambitious and I was uh, just the one person working in it. So. We really needed help there. Yeah. And yeah. And we needed help with Agile. And uh, mm -hmm. when we started talking, I figured very quickly that you were a big proponent of uh, lean method. Yes. And mm -hmm. I thought this is perfect. We totally knew that more needs to be done with less and exactly. we kind of like we spoke the same language immediately. When you came in switching our programming team to Agile. And we thought that Agile was actually something that we always have done, but we didn't really know methodology. Uh, we didn't know the process. We were not really doing it the way uh, with the tools and everything that, uh, that were available at that time. Yeah. So it was great to have you to come and help us with that. What were the changes that you saw in the product and in the development team itself as a, I don't know, team or productivity? We started to feel that we had much better visibility into what development team was doing. Yeah. We started to have a process. Uh, we didn't have before you like daily scrums. We didn't have uh, yeah. screen planning. Yeah. Exactly. Yes, we were just doing what needs to be done, just like uh, any startup would do. But we started to feel that we just do not really understand anymore. It wasn't working. So after the, after the Agile was implemented, after you trained us and trained our staff how to like use this methodology, we started to see much better team environment. We started to see more productivity and we really started to feel like we do have visibility into what's happening. And yeah. we started to feel much better about the whole process. I remember, and I really enjoyed uh, working with a whole uh, development team over there. And you remember that we started doing for the first time, those backlog groomings, and we started breaking it into the big roadmap pieces, including one of them was, you know, membership and link to rail. And we started making that, uh, those lists and putting a big L it's a, it's a, it's a high, it's a, it's a big issue to work on. And then, uh, you guys prioritize based on the importance on the business, which definitely you completely own it. And, and you knew exactly what's, what makes more sense. And we started doing backlog grooming, uh, every two weeks just to prioritize which of that roadmap we should, uh, which components we should do next and prioritize all the features in it. Did, did that make it a little bit more comfortable for you that you would know and you would know exactly what 
what the team is going to be working on next. Did that help you with uh, knowing that? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We felt like we actually, we were finally on a roadmap <laughs> making progress. Yeah, and, and the yeah. proof is there, right? I mean, you you guys have built so much uh, during that period in time and since. It's it's amazing. And right now, I think that uh, Sasha actually, Alexander, she took over, I think, the, the That's management right. team. That's right. right? The, the process team, worked for her to actually to come in and uh, be able to work with that. After all, you didn't have to hire another exactly. product manager, another product exactly. manager right? you didn't have to hire all that and you don't have to hire all these managers you can just take a little bit of your time to implement these processes or even take someone from your current team a part of their time and they would just do it way less than having a full time on it and you guys are great on culture right <laughs> exactly we are big on culture we are big on productivity we are really working towards a player team and we believe yeah. that we've got like really good team right now so we're very happy about that you told us i'm gonna create these processes i'm gonna set up agile i'm gonna do all these uh things set up your tools and i'm gonna be done and you're not gonna need to hire anyone and that's yeah. exactly what happened. It was very, very successful, very productive project. I, I really appreciate that feedback. The focus that I that I that we had working together, the main topic, it was done. It was implemented. Exactly. You can definitely take it over now. Exactly. That was just like awesome. I, it's kind of like uh, it's exactly how as you as you told. Uh, I remember that we started doing all those reports. Remember we did for accounting yes. and we did for support and then for leadership team and we started tr building reports so that you see live what's going on the numbers, and you see live the reports actually. So people can go in and just see what everybody everybody That's right. and every That's department right. is doing. It's actually. I felt like we uh, implemented with your help agile methodology and transparency exactly. through the whole culture, through exactly. the whole departments. So that was kind of more than we were expected. And it was my pleasure. I mean, I love working with you guys. Oh, we love working with you too, Aristotle. Sounds good. Bye. Say hi. Bye. Bye, bye bye. Yes, bye I will. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Aside from this case study, there are many other businesses, founders, and leaders that we've helped with their software businesses. Robert, CEO of Timely, Rena, Engineering Director, and others that needed help building software products with a smaller team and half the cost. Alex, Sanjay, and others that needed help managing a software development team without paying for expensive managers. Dylan from Collingwood School, Michael from Eminence Organics, and others that needed help scaling their product operations without begging for funding. Xenia, co-founder of Freitera and Waldi, and others that needed help increasing the team performance while transitioning from office to remote work. If you're interested in seeing how we can help you make more money with your software product while spending way less on your staff, I've set aside 45 minute slots so you can talk to our team and see whether you can get similar results. Click the link included with this video or go to gostartup.io slash call and book a time to speak to us. We'll take a good look at what you're doing right now, what's happening in your company, We'll find out together what's holding you back. And if it seems like we can help you solve the problem, we'll show you how that looks like. At that point, you can decide on your own if you want to be part of it or not. Our slots do fill up quickly because we have a limited team taking our daily calls. So book right now before the slots run out. We look forward to speaking with you.